Howdy y'all, my name is Price, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher! That's right, we're playing more Slime Rancher 2. We're here. Alright, I'm getting getting me some more resources. Um, how y'all doing? Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. Look at that one with the little flower. Oh my gosh, I hadn't seen this before. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna just do a quick one of those. Maybe even oh yeah. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I had never seen... I don't think I've really paid attention to this one before. Okay. Anyway. Hi! How's it going? Good morning. Good evening. Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever you are. Wherever you are. Um, how you doing? Hope you're having a good morning. Uh, it is October the 10th. And, uh, yeah. For me, it's about noon. Starting a little bit later than I normally do. I usually record around, like, 9 or 10. Um, but yeah. The day is going. I hope y'all are having a good one. We're still over here searching for our treasure pots. That's our main main goal. Um, but we got a couple other things we can do. Uh, we started doing a little bit of decorating last time. Um, I would like to do more of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, we will look into that. Um, and yeah, it's just about trying to find these treasure pots. It's a little tricky. Um, we've also gotten a bunch of science-y related things that are uh, uh, resources that will help us make a bunch of stuff. And I have, like, teleporters and stuff to put down, so I need to think about that as well, actually. Because we got one here, so yeah, like I said, one could go over here, one could go over here. Let's... Gosh, I've searched. It feels like I've searched everywhere, multiple times. Um, we'll go around up here again. Though, I mean, I, I know we did that at the end of last episode. I'm kind of going to go... A little bit in reverse. I'm really trying to think like, okay, where are areas that I just zip through? Like, here is an area that I skip all the time. Which is why I would think like, okay, there could be one just sitting on the ground or just like barely unnoticeable. So we're just going to take our time. Like, under here would be such a good spot for one, right? Just like tucked in there. Um, about around the edges of it. No. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so, um, as y'all know, if you've been watching, it's uh, still October. Still watching horror movies. Uh, last night, I decided to re-watch one that I really like, but it's been a bit since I saw it, um, called The Empty Man. Now, uh, if y'all haven't seen The Empty Man, it's, it's an interesting one because, to me, it almost feels like three different horror movies kind of all jammed together um, because of, like, the way that it like progresses and so you know I don't want to give anything away about it in case you're curious to watch it so I'm just gonna give <clears throat> a general kind of breakdown of that like it kind of starts with this like almost it's like these people hiking through the Himalayans and it's like this kind of um, atmospheric almost like cosmic horror kind of thing like what's going on what is this kind of thing then it moves on to this kind of like suspense um, detective -y, trying to solve like a sort of like almost like a slasher movie kind of thing. Um, and then it sort of turns into almost like a culty, um, maybe, maybe even demonic or something, but like, you know, I, I'm not going to say what, um, but, um, that kind of a feel, you know, where there's like this group of people who are like kind of doing bonkers stuff. So, um, the way that it twists and turns and moves around, it takes what looks like it should be just kind of like, eh, like an eh kind of movie, um, in terms of like the budget and the marketing and everything like that, and makes it actually something pretty neat. So I, I would recommend check out The Empty Man if you never did. I feel like it's one that a lot of people, um, didn't really, oh, oh no, we've been over there, didn't really give a chance when it came out or didn't even hear about it. Um, so yeah, that's just one. One that I would suggest, and one that I, I rewatched last night. Um, so, so yeah, that's that. Oh no, the Taz! Why are you here, Taz? You have destroyed all of the slimes. But look, there is hope. No, I must save you, pink slimes. Come with me if you want to live. All right, I'm I'm sorry once again. Um, enough of y'all like it that I just I got to do it. <laughs> um, I'm sure at this point I've already scared away the ones who. Don't like the Terminator. Oh my gosh, they got back! No! It's like Hyder. Cut off one head, two more appear. Alright, anyway, now I'm mixing Arnold and Captain America. Alright, y'all are on your own. 
Okay. Oh, oh. Ran out of energy. We'll just wait a sec. We'll just wait a sec. Okay. Do, do, do. And up, up, and away! Okay, let's check these edges. Like, I know that this was the last place that we looked at before quitting last time. I know I've looked down there. But let's do it again. You never know. You never know how much stuff I've already missed. Oh yeah, but there's there's that one. So, you know, we did get the one that's down here. Oh, is this underneath the rock thing? It is, isn't it? Or not the the, the crystal one, I think is what it was. Okay. Going back up. Oh man, I'm just trying to think where are places wait a minute. Oh! That was close. And scary. Nope. Back up. Back up. Back it up. Just back it up. Back it up. Just back it up. Ant-Man? Anyone? It's an Ant-Man thing. Oh, I was so, so hoping. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've already checked over here as well. I've checked everywhere. I've checked here, I've checked there, I've checked everywhere. Who you gonna check? I mean, anyway, if you know. If you know GT Live, you know. Um, This doesn't have to the cave, does it? It does. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we may we may head home. We'll go check out the uh we'll go check out the Starlight Strand. And then um you know, maybe we'll come back here with fresh eyes another day. Okay, let's go to the teleporter. Wee! Okay, sorry, I popped out real fast there. Uh, alrighty, let's feed some slimes. They're definitely mad. We were out for a while. Um, okay, so like I said, let's, uh, let's focus on exploring the Starlight Strand and, um, building some decorations. So let's think about what we can put into the Starlight Strand and, um, we'll look at what those cost and maybe, maybe make a couple. Um, like, where in the Strand would I like to really build things up? I wonder if I can build stuff up around the waterfall where it already was, like, super pretty. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay. So, uh, I already told you about the horror movie I watched. Did I talk to you all about, I think I did, last time, about um, Werewolf by Night, so I won't say much more about that, but great stuff. Um, speaking of Marvel, uh, the Black Panther 2 is, like, like a month away. Like, maybe less, which is flipping awesome. I'm really curious to see what that one is going to be like. Um, hopefully, you all have seen the trailer at this point, if you're interested. Um, if not, um, go check it out. Go check it out. Uh, super cool trailer. Um, and uh, I think the biggest thing, right, the biggest thing that was has been kind of shown in the trailer is that uh, Namor... The Submariner is going to be one of the main characters. Looks like he might be the main villain. I'm guessing he's more of like an anti-hero. Um, but I actually really like Namor as a character. Um, I always have. He's got this kind of edge to him. You know where like Aquaman is kind of like, like kind of a super good guy. But then like the Jason Momoa Aquaman is kind of edgy. You know, he's a little bit more of a butthead. Um... Namor is kind of like that, like less of a sense of humor and more very like serious and like controlling and stuff. Um, so did I not feed them? Hold on. Did I feed them all the cube rates? I didn't mean to do that. That was reverse. That was reverse I meant to do, but that's fine. They already ate. Y'all can have these. Do, 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 do. Bop. We're already back up to, like, almost 50 of each of these. I should probably take a, uh, a set in for all of them. All right. Some of y'all are still hungry for some reason. Look at those little eyes. Look at those little sneaky eyes. All right. Y'all can have these, too. And we'll fill this up. Okay. So, oh, and one of y'all let me know that uh, our fire slime in the... Um, over here, I'll go. I'll, we'll go look. Um, that he's missing, 
and I totally didn't look, but I think y'all are right that uh, the slime that I had in the magma pool um, disappeared. So that means magma pool strats are not going to work. They will decay if not in a magma pool, um, which is interesting, but I mean, not entirely um, that, you know, uh, out of expectation, you know, like I think that like it makes sense that uh, that would happen. Um, would have loved it, though. Would have loved to be able to keep them in the little um, magma pools, because just wouldn't that be cool? Like, wouldn't that be neat? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's help y'all guys out. Okay. Y'all are still good on numbers. I'm assuming the bats are full, as always. That's what I get for feeding them their favorite food. They just make so many plorts. These are the money bats. Um, okay. So, all right. Now we know the, uh, the fire slime... Fire slimes cannot be in the uh, magma pools, right? We'll triple check again. See? See? No more slime. Very sad. Um, we still could put all of our magma things around here just because, right? Because um, it makes sense. Okay. Um, so, on to, like, uh, story stuff and whatnot in this game. Um, one of y'all uh, pointed out a really good theory. Like a theory that I'm like, oh, I 100% am on board for this. I think it might be the actual case. So, we're going to go ahead and say, right, 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 right. Okay, we're going to say maybe spoilers, potential, um, through prediction. Uh, so, we know Thora and Hobson, and I, I apologize for not being able to remember y'all's names when I call these things out. I think y'all know who I'm talking about if you're out there, and hopefully you're okay with me just being like someone said. Um, but if you're curious about where this theory originated, you can go back through one of my last two videos and the comment is there. So, um, the theory is that <clears throat> Hobson and Thora are having a child, right? Their plan is to have a little, little baby, and you know, uh, Hobson was all about the glass desert and all about exploring and all about, like, the, um, the different, uh, what do you call them? Hobson was all about the, um, exploring the different areas of the far, far range, everything like that. What if BB slash GG is their child from a different timeline, different, you know, future or whatever, and there's some weird time nonsense going on where there's multiple dimensions or, you know, BB went through into the um, glass desert, maybe swapped places with GG, or maybe they are the same person. Um, I'm curious. I'm really curious. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Hello, Beatrix. I hope it's not too presumptuous, but I got you this. Uh, I am, uh, hope you like it. Usually I use an algorithm to identify appropriate gifts, but in this instance, I just sort of winged it. I agree. The spontaneity scares me, too. Hey! Ooh! Ooh! Two-way teleporter. Two-way teleporter. Yes! Oh, that's the real two-way... That's the, that's the teleporter right there. Okay. Okay, that changes things. Hey, B, I got you a gift because... I don't know. Anyway, I hope you like it. Or don't. Whatever. Okay, cool. Hey, Amiga, I got you a little gift. It's not homemade, and it's not pie. And it's not a homemade pie. But I thought you would like it all the same. Shame about the pie, though. All right, just giving us... Oh, giving us decorations. I like that they give you decorations. Oh. What's Bob going to give us? Special delivery. Look, you got a little slime in there. He's hungry. Got a little chicken on the on the top. Special delivery. Have a great chicken. <laughs> Have a great chickens. <laughs> oh, Bob is the best. Have a great chickens. Um, I want to cosplay as Bob. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Oh, man. Um, okay, so pink teleporter. That's a big deal. Because I can put it anywhere, and we can go back and forth. So that right there, that's the teleportation business that I'm all about. Now suddenly these home teleporters are much less useful. Um... So one of y'all said, and I think we, we looks like we're okay. 
But one of y'all said there might be a glitch in the game that if you get the treasure pods in the wrong order, then you might not be able to get the maximum versions of these. Like, basically, there may be an issue where, like, I won't be able to get the last tank guard, the last heart module, and the last power core because maybe I picked them up in a wrong order and it's a glitch. I don't know if that's the case. Like, dash boots. Like, I don't think I can get the level two yet. So I need one, two, three, four. There are, like, four treasure pods left for us. But if they're not all those things, then we may not be able to get them if that's a thing. Right? I don't know for sure that's a thing, but one of y'all said it might be a thing. So we'll just we'll keep that in mind. If we don't get all the upgrades, then we know. Um, and then eventually later on, we'll be a little more thoughtful and maybe make a perfect file. I'm sure they will fix that glitch um, between now and the um, full release. Um, or the, the 1.0. Or even probably the next update, to be honest. Okay, we checked on them. Let's go check on these guys over here. Um, then we're good to explore. Oh, and I wanted to... I didn't check while I was down there. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to check what the um, pink um, teleporter costs. Do, do, do. And I haven't checked on the um, puddles in a little bit. I need to put some slimes out there. I need to start utilizing these spaces. I've got all this money, and we haven't really been doing anything with it. Um, so, you know, that's one thing I could do. Get more slimes, or put out silos, or whatever, right? Like, I could put a ton of silos out on the chicken area and just fill them with all those chickens, right? Because we're going to have to deal with that at some point. We're going to we're gonna have to deal with that. That's going to be an issue. Um, <laughs> we'll go check it again at the end of uh, this session. All right, good. It did get all the ports, at least. Okay. We'll go sell these real quick. Oh, I meant to put this food in here. I am really paying attention. Yeah. This guy. This guy. I was like, wait, we only have three left? And it's like, no, they're invisible, dude. They're hiding right in plain sight. The predators, man. The predators. I love them. Their little pink eyes and everything. They're adorable. They really are some of the cutest slimes. Y'all been coming up with great ideas for slimes. You've had, you've had really good ideas for, like, different combinations. I love that one of y'all mentioned, you called it a moth slime. And so that's, like, the, um, uh, these guys, right? The phosphor... Um, ringtails and basically how they could I don't need the solar shield with them because during the day they will just turn into stone um, but I made them before I realized that so it's fine uh, okay which I think is a, it's a neat effect too but you know having the solar shield means they'll work double time all right let's go sell these oh no no, no. let's go put them in the thing and let's uh, see what decorations we can get and what uh it costs to make a pink teleporter. Do 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 do. Because why not? Again, I have so much money. Oh yeah, one of y'all mentioned um, that I should have sold the gold plorts. And while they are worth a lot of money, at this point I don't really need money. And so I'm thinking, you know, I've been saving every golden plort I've got because in the previous game there were certain high level, come on, science uh, items, uh, things you could print that cost gold plorts and so I figure if I don't need them now then I'll store them for later so we can only get novice gordo snares I think at the moment which is too bad because um, I think that means we're pretty much only going to get pinks we'll make a couple more in a little bit and see if maybe we can get like a rock slime or something we might be able to get like a rock and a tabby maybe a bunny um, that would be the highest level I would think okay roots we've talked about roots being something ah but we need honey we need honey Okay, so these are all for the Rainbow Island, basically. Um, whoops. Pink glow shrooms. We got lots of stony statues. So, like, a lot of these are for the lava zone. These guys can kind of go anywhere. These are their statues. You can tell because they have green stuff on them, I guess. They're not fossils that we're putting out there, I guess. Um, star bloom flowers. These could be nice to put out there. Maybe we'll make a couple of those. Um, make some shrooms. Oh, we can make some coral columns. Um, rainbow mounds. Okay. Ooh, this tree could work. Large pink bonsai. Yeah. Okay, so we'll need to get some more ingredients. Now, after that, can I afford you? 
Jellystone we need. Um, we will do that another time. I don't want to get so distracted that we don't actually go and do what we mean to do. Um, so now what I think I'm going to do is at every um, entrance, I'm actually going to put a home portal. So instead of teleporting to here, I teleport back home. Because if I'm going to be able to start using the two-way teleporters, those are what I'm going to want to use out in the field. And then out here, it's basically like, do I want to teleport to the Rainbow Island or do I want to teleport home? Um, so that's what we're going to do. Because it basically ends up turning these into two-way teleporters that just take you right to the teleporter, to the entrance. You go that way, <laughs> you go that way. I have to remember this. It's like crossing like an X. Um, do we have everything? I think we do. Probably not, but we'll go. <laughs> okay. Looking for treasure pods again. It's going to be tricky, you know. We've looked for these ones quite a few times. Uh, we'll put it over here so it's not quite in the way. I don't want to accidentally run into it. For the Rainbow Islands, or for the, the um, Starlight Strand, we'll use green. Um, okay. I love that I can look out there and see them too. The spots. All right. So, another quest that we have. We do want to be gathering. Um, oh, wow. It's loud out there. Um, we do want to be gathering... Um, basic resources from here, right? Like buzzwax and honey and stuff like that. So I should really go into the honey zone, uh, which I believe is, yeah, it's going to be over to this direction. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there are two paths over here that I, I kind of take either. But I don't know if I ever go up, like, up, up. We're out of, we're out of energy. Just going to, just going to hold on a second. This might count as me. Yeah, I was still counted as me in the air. Oh, ah, crap. You don't want to do that where, like, your head gets stuck underneath because sometimes that can lower your maximum height. Um, okay. I'm going to look on top of these little bits here. I feel like I kind of, when I'm in this zone, I maybe, I maybe stick to one path instead of another. Oh, that would have been a great spot. Um, so one of y'all suggested that I should uh, be a consultant for where to hide treasure pods. Uh, with all the spots that I've been saying, ooh, that's a good spot, ooh, that's a good spot. Um, you know, Nick, if you're watching, anyone else at Monomi Park, if you're watching, I would gladly be a treasure pod consultant. Uh, <laughs> if that's something you're looking for, um, you know, my, my, uh, audience here, if you want some slime idea experts, all right, we got some great ones out here. Slime types all out the wazoo. Um... Is that one up there? It looks like that one's... That one's opened. Uh, yeah, that one's opened over there. Okay, there's tons of buzzwax here, though, which is great, because buzzwax did seem to be an ingredient in a lot of things. Okay. Do, do, do. Get you. All right, are you going to give me a gold slime with five ports? No. You never know, right? <laughs> um, bonkers luck, right? With my... Three different times I've popped those and gotten gold slimes out of them. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, ooh, what about over in this little spot? Oh, this is where you come up through there, huh? Yeah, it's where you come up through there. Okay. Or I think you're just actually supposed to be go down through there, but I, <laughs> I always fly my way up through there, because why not? Okay. That, I like, again, ooh, it'd be a great spot down there, but that's, like, a little bit too much, uh... Too much of an ask, right? A little bit too out of the way. Because you want to be fair. You want to also put them in places where people will see them. Which is why I like them when, like, you can fly out and see them. You just have to get, get a different perspective. I mean, I, I like how they're all done. Um, but, like, as opposed to, like, uh, being hidden in, like, a little crevice. Um, I do like it when they're also in the caves and stuff like that. But, like, obviously you want a mixture anyways of different kinds. Um, okay. This... And then up into the trees, I feel like, is where honey is kind of the most prevalent, but still not common. Just taking my time. Taking my time. But yeah, honey does seem to maybe be one of the rarest resources, or at least for me while I'm still trying to learn the spawn locations for honey. Ta, get out of here. I do not have time for your shenanigans. Oh, man. I'd love to hear Arnold say shenanigans. Shenanigans? Why? Why are you engaging in such silly tomfoolery? 
<laughs> I would love to hear that. <laughs> uh, okay, I do remember up here being a good spot, so I think I actually maybe saw one over there, unless it's Buzzwax. Yeah, over here I believe multiple times I've seen honey, so we'll check here. Obviously up in the tree roots. You know, we're going to spend some time really looking around the tree up here. I feel like there's some little nooks and crannies that I haven't really gotten myself up into. Um, hi, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay. Like, oh. Well, that's a cave, so that means I've been there. <laughs> but we will check it nonetheless. I thought I launched you into the sea, okay? All right, someone... I always confuse bunny plorts for gold plorts. They look so much like them. So much buzzwax. All te buzzwax. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, okay? Hey, get out of here. I didn't say you could eat my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've been down here for sure, which means I think we've been in the cave. But, again, gotta check every... I'm gonna check up that route. Um, after triple checking this, like, I fully remember coming over here and looking at all these spots. Um, a couple episodes ago. Uh, but, again, it's all about, you know, trying again and again and getting different perspectives. Like, every day we come at it with a fresh set of eyes, right? And uh, that allows us to kind of, like, maybe see something we didn't see before. Um, it really is about giving yourself space and perspective. Like, if nothing else, um, you can think about how, like, your... Your body processes memories, um, like, the way that you properly encode memories, um, into memory, so, like, uh, things that happen today into things that I can remember tomorrow, um, it happens in your sleep, um, and there's actually a lot of theorizing, because we don't really know what the purpose of dreams are, specifically, but we do know that if you dream, you get better rest, and it seems like dreams are your body running simulations essentially on the world the simulations don't necessarily make sense because the interior of your brain doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense but it's essentially you your brain trying to think through a whole bunch of things about what happened during the day how did things go how could they have gone differently what would i have done in this differently um all kinds of things and you know the experience of a dream is all jumbled up but if you think about it in the language of emotions it often ties a lot to what you're going through um, or what you have gone through. Um, obviously, I'm not going to get into deeper um, ideas of dream interpretation. And there's a lot of like different theories on it. Personally, I fall into the theory that they are a sort of random, um, not, I don't want to say side effect because I think that the, the dream itself does serve the purpose of better encoding the memory, but essentially a byproduct, we'll say of um, encoding your memories, giving you a better understanding of your memories and experiences. Um, so that's why sleep is so important. Um, if for no other reason, like A, it's how your body repairs itself physically better, right? So if you like um, did a big workout, your muscles need to heal because really what happens when you're doing a workout is you're kind of making tiny tears in your muscle. And then your body repairs those tears across a larger surface area so that you then have um, musculature, increased musculature. Um, so just like that, your brain's kind of doing the same thing. Um, you can just think of it this way, right? The um, short-term memory uh, lives in a part of your brain in the center of your brain called the hippocampus. Um, and get out of here, you buttheads. Um, so it lives in the hippocampus in the center of your brain, and that's kind of, a, it's an area of the brain actually where one of the few areas where throughout our life we form new neurons and so you can think about that as like memory like on a computer memory um or ram right where it's quickly rewriting itself all the time um but it's not it doesn't have as vast of a storage space as your hard drive and it's not as long term right it goes away so you're constantly essentially filling the cache and clearing the cache of your brain you can think about it as up until you have a good sleep, you're storing everything in memory, right? In RAM. And, um, you know, it's got its limitations. Uh, and the more you try to jam everything into there, the more fragmented and confused that becomes. So if you don't sleep for a very long period of time, or if you don't get good sleep, your memory um, 
doesn't do so well, right? You have trouble kind of forming the memories well. You start to get a little confused, maybe. Things don't fully make sense. We know that if people go for extended periods of time, we're talking like a week without sleeping, they start to hallucinate. Um, and you can think of this as just like, your brain is now so fragmented in terms of its current memory state that um, it can't properly understand what it's going through. Um, but when you sleep, then your brain's like, okay, we're going to rip apart all this information and we're going to put it in the places it belongs. We're going to store it in the right folders. We're going to move it over. Um, we're going to defragment it. So the parts that are next to each other that shouldn't be, we're taking them away from each other, right? So that's kind of how memory works. Um, and so uh, that's, uh, that's why it's uh, really important to, um, to sleep. Um, and get those, uh, get those memories, run those simulations. So to circle this back around to where I started this conversation, um, when you go to sleep, your brain runs those simulations, slimulations, if you will, um, to try and figure things out. So for example, me trying to find all these treasure pods as I sleep after my sections where I'm, I'm looking for all these pods, my brain is going to slowly start to form a mental map of where I've looked, right? Like, I might not know it explicitly. I can't tell you necessarily that like, oh, around this corner is a thing, or oh, over there is that, or oh, this, that, or the other. I can't do that um, off the top of my head right now. But I kind of vaguely, like I look at a spot and I go, oh, we've been here. Oh, we've been there. I've done that. I know where I don't necessarily have to focus because I focused there before, right? Um, and so slowly you build that up. So me going and doing an episode here in the Starlight Strand and looking for stuff and then going back over to the Ember Valley, giving me, giving me those breaks in between uh, is going to help me to maybe in the future be like, oh, I should look here. I should look there. That's where I haven't been, right? Um, so we slowly get our different angles. I thought that was one there and I about screamed. Um... Okay, just looking over here like, where have I not been? Have I been up on top there? Probably. Probably been up there, but maybe not. Um, let's grab this. Let's go up to the tippy top up here, and we are going to start decorating a little bit if we can. I forget exactly how to get up to the top up there now, now that I mention it. And there's not a cave in here, right? No. Again, what a, what a great spot for a pod that would have been, right? Behind a waterfall? I mean, has you played video game? <laughs> That's what waterfalls are for. Hiding secrets. Why else do you put a waterfall in a game? What, for natural beauty? Paha! Not a chance. Um, what's down here? I see that tree. Oh, okay, that's where that cave comes out. Okay. Do-do-do. Alright. Gonna let my energy build up. We're gonna go from tree to rock to tree to rock. You know how it goes. I think that if I go to the cave down below, that's how I can get up there. Oh, it looks like you can also stair step along the waterfall, kind of. Can you? Maybe, almost, maybe. Do, 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 do. Just flying around, making the sounds. Um, yeah, anyway, that's, I guess, fun psychology talk for today. <laughs> oh, man. It's, uh, it's interesting this morning, um, Chrissy and I were talking about um, evolutionary psychology. It's just something like, you know, sometimes, you know, topics come up. So we were talking about like evolution and psychology related to evolution and whatnot. And um, it's always really interesting to like think about like how our brains kind of evolved over time from like simpler organisms, you might say, um, and like how they're adapted specifically for, you know, us and the ways that we live. Um, oh, by the way, are there spots up here? Oh, there's not a single one. It's not a single one. It's too bad. What about down there? There's a couple. All right, so we can decorate that spot. Um, I think we've been all the way up top, but I guess let's try again. Okay, let's think. So out there, I think we opened one like right on that. Um, there are these spots out here where maybe there's stuff. Maybe we should spend some time over in this uh, sandy area again. Um, but first, where's it? Yeah, let's go turn. Let's go um, store these. Oh, first, let's let's decorate. Uh, okay, what do we want to put over here? 
What do we got, deco-wise? Okay, we got this guy. We could put a couple of things here. Like, I think we could put these rainbow mounds, maybe? Okay. I think that fits, although, does it fit here? Maybe. It might fit over there. Um, we can always move them. We can always move them. I don't necessarily want to block the view, so let's put something smaller here, like flowers. Let's put these flowers here, the star blooms. Yeah, those are pretty. And I think star bloom sounds like it belongs in the uh, starlight strand. Um, here we can put a tree. This large bonsai. I'm wondering how, how big is large? Ooh! That's not a bad size one. It's not a bad size one. Yeah. Neat. That's interesting how it's in the rock like that. That's cool. Uh, oh, look at the swimming hen. You love it up here, huh? Man, you're going to have the best days. I should bring a rooster up here. And they could just have little, little chicky babies living in the water. What if we get the sea hens? You know, they belong here, right? What about the peng hens? We talked about this. <laughs> we talked about this in, uh, in chat. Peng hens, like penguins, but they're hens, right? we get ourselves a frosty slime of some sort. Frosty slime makes too much sense. It just makes too much sense. We need it. Um, and like, could you imagine a snow zone? <laughs> snow zone. Rhyming with ozone. Um, a snow zone where like you had to use like boom plorts or something to like, um, or flame plorts to like burn away certain sections, right? So like the plort keys, instead of it like opening a stone door, instead it like melts a bunch of... Uh, Ice or stone? Wouldn't that be cool? Or not stone. Ice or snow. Do do do. I think that'd be super neat. I think that'd be super, super neat. Alright, that was a pretty good amount of honey we found. Get out of here, you stupid dolls. Why must you do this to me? You leave these innocent slimes alone. Yeah. Alright. Um oh. I heard him. I heard him. Y'all heard him. Where was he? There was a gold slime here. There was, and we all heard him, but I did not see him. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, maybe y'all saw him in the flash of an eye. That's fine. Okay. Um, so we're going to go... We're going to turn around. We're going that way. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm gonna do some... We're going to do some climbing up. We're going to really try and pay attention the best we can. What up, Elder Roostro? All right, let's see if I can get you all the way up there. Probably not. Did he fall? Did he fall? Maybe he made it. Okay. Well, cool. Good shot, me. Or he's up there, so at least he's safe. Um, okay. Moving on. Ooh, diamond. So I think the diamonds are going to be really useful for the, the two-way teleporters, if I remember correctly from the first one. Um, so the fact that I've been collecting diamonds this whole time, as well you should be, um, I think will be helpful. Oh, did I go too far? I went too far. Sorry. Don't go through the... The slime tunnels get you through. That's right. They don't get you to. We're going to go back. Do, 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 do. So... This way. Okay, cool. And we've already seen that GGBB log, I believe. So we're going to leave it for now. Just looking around in all these weird places. Do, 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 do. Okay. Nope, not all the way. Okay, so there was a spot. Oh, look at that! I love how you can see everything in the distance. Like, there's the conservatory. How cool is that? Um, there was a spot I was thinking of, like, kind of high up that I wanted to check that I feel like I hadn't seen before. There's also that spot over there, because there's the little cave that's over here. Let's go check inside that cave thing again. I only went in there the one time. I don't remember if it's just a tunnel or if there's like more to it, but I feel like it's worth 
given a look. Um, okay, so... I love how it has those... The, uh, the butterfly wings. We're going to take a screenshot of that just because. Because it looks cool. I want to get the whole thing in view. I want to fly out and do it, but I know I'll end up accidentally letting go and falling. Okay. So there is a cave in here, fully. Oh, this is just a pathway to a cave, right? That we've already been in. I think so. But we're still going to look around. Like, again, I, it's one of those ones where it's like, at this point, I've been everywhere so many times that it's like, we're just going to slowly go through every time, look for stuff, and keep it going. Man, the cars outside are so loud. I apologize if that's coming through. Though, usually it doesn't. I usually end up, y'all are like, I don't hear anything. And that's, I think, a testament to the quality of the microphones that we use. Okay, yeah, so that brings you out there. So then what about the lower levels? Do, 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 I'm just waiting for, like, now! Uh, for us to eventually <laughs> find, like, a whole island or something that I never went to, or a cave that I never opened or something <laughs> at this point. Okay, anglers over here. Brings me out into... Oh! Oh! Well, that's nice to know. The waterfall goes straight through to where I was trying to go to. Okay. And now I know. See, this is what I was talking about before, um, several episodes ago, about, like, mental maps. About how it takes me a while to build the mental map of this game. That moment right there, that was a mental map moment. So I now, I now know, and I probably will remember, we'll see, but that that's a tunnel through. It's a tunnel through the mountain. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Should have enough energy. Because this is a shelf, you know, this is a flat area. It's not above everything. No, it doesn't look like it. Still, was worth a shot. Um, okay. So up there, I think I was thinking like, what's, oh no, no, that's the top of the, that's the waterfall. Yeah. So it's up on like these other areas I figured would be worth checking. I know I'm pretty sure I've been there, but, uh, still. Yeah. Again, I apologize if y'all can hear the construction outside. You know, it is what it is. Can't control it. But, um, I need the window open because it is, it is hot here. Uh, but more importantly, it gets very, um, or it gets very, um, stuffy in here. So I need the window open to, uh, I thought I saw a spot out there. I need the window open to get some airflow. Otherwise, I'm going to be very hot, very fast. What I meant to say is this room gets very hot. It is hot in Oregon, but at least it's early enough today where it's still cool out. Um, just, just triple check-in, quadruple check-in. Okay. That's that. This cave is a different cave? Do, 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 do. Ah, yes, it's this one. It's the fall down cave. But what about up here? Where am I now? Okay, yeah, it just comes through to the middle here. That's what I thought. I mean, that was the straight shot. No! How could you? Life will never be the same. Um. Gosh, this, the accent gets worse every day. Uh, okay. What's in this little valley? Okay, we've been there. Do, 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 do. Oh. Get wrecked. It's okay. Airdrop. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Strafing. Okay, anyway. Let's, um, I'm gonna get up there. Again, it's all these little crevices that I need to be looking at, you know? Oof. That's not something down there, is it? Do, 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 do. I couldn't tell if that's a wall or not. That's a wall. Is that something I've dropped down there? A little pogo fruit? But you saw what I meant, right? Like, it looked like... Okay. We can... 
get on here. Okay. No, well, like, look at it. Right? It looks like it could be a cave. Oh, it's the angler cave! Oh, okay. Wait, not the angler cave? Oh, the cave underneath there. Okay, it's the cave underneath the, um, the pathway there. Circle gets the square. Again, mental mapping, y'all. We're doing the mental map. Oh, goodness, y'all. My shoulder, been sore lately. It's no fun. Getting older means getting pains. That's basically it. <laughs> Uh, doo -doo -doo. But yeah, all my uh, all my old sports injuries are rearing their ugly head as the temperature changes. That's how it goes. But um, I have been uh, after Chrissy pushed and pushed and pushed me, which is uh, I'm so happy that she did. Um, I am um, doing physical therapy for my knee. I may have talked about this before, but I have a um, I uh, got a really bad strain. Uh, or maybe a minor tear uh, on my MCL, um, the medial crucial ligament, I believe it's called. Um, and that's on your knee. It's kind of one of the muscles, not muscles, tendons, that kind of keeps your knee balancing, um, kind of holds it in place. Like if you put your hand on the left and right of your knee, the, um, the one on the inside, that's your MCL. The one on the outside, that's your ACL, I believe. Um, and basically, yeah, they're, they're just there to keep your knee straight and balancing. And so mine has been messed up for like 15 years. Uh, and so finally I'm going to PT. It's helping. Man, though, does it like push you to your limit of what you can do. It's humbling, actually, because <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to just completely exhaust my entire body while trying to uh, fix it, you know, to do these just little exercises. Very, very humbling. But, I mean, in a good way. It, it's teaching me that, like, I need to do these kinds of things to maintain my health and my body. And if I want to be able to walk in the future, I need to take care of it now instead of uh, waiting until it's too late. You know, I always thought I was going to have to get surgery. That's what I always thought. I thought, okay, whenever I can afford it, I'm going to have to go in and they're going to have to give me surgery. And my physical therapist was like, no, I think, I think we can do this with exercise. Um, so that's what we're doing. And, uh, Seems to be helping. Seems to be helping quite a bit, actually. Um, she says I've been making good progress. And um, we keep on increasing the uh, difficulty of the um, exercises. So, you know, that's going. It's just so, so intense. So intense. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so take care of yourself. Take care of your, your, your body, y'all. Take care of your body. Um, I guess we'll pop over here. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I forgot about my fuel. Oh boy, y'all. That was hilarious, huh? Kept all my stuff, though, for the most part. Kept the diamond. That's good. Okay, well, <laughs> guess we're home. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Let's, uh, let's look around. Let's see how our slimes are doing, but we'll probably call it there. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I can't I can't even be mad about that. That was funny. Um, well, I'd say we got a good <laughs> a good survey of here, right? Here pretty well, but we ended I think we ended up pivoting before I fully explored this spot um, and then checking out like this this area. Um, we definitely looked around the waterfall. I feel like the waterfall area is clear. This area probably clear. This area, I mean, we've mostly cleared this, but I think we can probably do a good look at all of it. Honestly, this region might be the one to really check. This whole blue area, but specifically here, like all the mushrooms and everything, maybe I haven't spent that much time there. So maybe we'll, um, we'll check that in a future episode. We may go back to the Ember um, Valley this next time. Not sure, um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, okay, but I guess let's go ahead and start the... Uh, the outro, and we'll end by checking on the chickens. <laughs> oh, man. This chick situation is, uh, real scary. Real scary. But it's also a fun thing to check in on at the end of every episode, and that way I at least don't crash it until it's the end, if it, if it ends up happening. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, um, yeah, y'all. Thank you for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's great to see all y'all who are here like every day looking forward to a daily video. Um, I'm glad. I hope that, you know, I become a little part of your, uh, your day that you just kind of, you know, you get up, you watch a price video, and then you're good to go. I think that'd be great. You know, it's like um, Chrissy and I, we watch uh, a lot of Good Mythical Morning. It's kind of a part of how we start our day. Put on Good Mythical Morning, have our cup of coffee. It's easier to just go ahead and start the day, right? I hope that, you know, for those of y'all who are watching me every day, maybe I can give you that kind of comfort. You show in, you listen to Price talk about nonsense while playing a cute game, and uh, then you get on with your day. So I appreciate all y'all who have been making me a regular part of your day. It, uh, it means the world to me, for real. Um, so, you know, if you liked it, of course, please drop a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you're not already. Go watch another one of my videos. That's the thing that the algorithm loves the most. So just, you know, start the playlist, binge it, let it, let it be a thing that you, that you have on because uh, that helps me a ton. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, and go check out the main channel. Oh, it's getting slow. Go check out um, the... <laughs> Look at this. Go check out the ad for the stump plushy. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I'll say it as I always do, y'all. You can all those tickets. Uh, this is this has truly become something uh, to marvel at, and I fear what it shall one day become. Like um, this is the chickpocalypse, and we're not even—it's not even done yet, y'all. It's not even done. All right, let me get down to your level. I'm like standing on them. Wish I could crouch, you know, get like a real nice close-up view. You know what I would love in screenshot mode? I would love a free cam. I don't know if that's something that they can do. I don't know how well that works with, um, I think they're using Unity. But if they had a free cam mode where you could like, you know, like a photo mode, um, like other games have. Um, man, wouldn't that be cool? You could like, um, set up such cool shots. I guess maybe a free cam mode would allow you to like look around and see areas that you maybe haven't been to yet. So maybe some limits to it. But even just, like, being able to move a little bit outside of your physical range, like, up and down and left and right. And, um, that alone would be good. If you could just move, like, if you look at where my cursor is, if I could get rid of the UI, hide the vac, hide the, um, the, uh, the backpack and the money and the health. And then to be able to move the camera down just a slight amount or up just a slight amount to get good angles, you know? And that would be it. That would be all you would need for, like, a good photo mode um, to be able to get those awesome shots. Where, like, I could get down here and get the camera, like, right below him and then look up and have, like, all these guys kind of towering in the distance, you know? Um, but, um, but I don't know if that's possible. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, that's all they have to do because, obviously, there's, there's quite a bit more to it than that. Um, I'm really trying to get some good shots here where like, you know, you'll see one big chicken, <clears throat> big chicken in the way, but then like a whole bunch of the others kind of doing their thing. Oh, don't do that. Screenshot. Um, okay, y'all. <laughs> I guess we'll do like an aerial view. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's going to be one of my weirdest thumbnails because I always have something big in the way, but this was just going to be a whole bunch of little things all over the place, huh? Um, and then I guess we can always, you know, get all in here. Get one of these. Just want to get one of them looking at me, you know? Okay. Anyway, those are our screenshots. This is the Chickpocalypse. Soon it shall all be over for all of us. Um, <laughs> uh, so with that, y'all, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time. I'm just always failing and flailing, y'all. Falling off of cliffs, doing great things. Oh! Oh, if you're still watching. if you're Oh, if you're still watching, comment of the day. Comment of the day um, is uh, uh, um, the pink Gordo says, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. So you, you write that. You write that down below, okay? Pink Slime, Pink Slime, he says, you, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This has been Price, and he will see you next time. How's that work? <laughs>